You ever see these false prophets and they'll come on here and say, I've got a word for you. It's a prophetic word from the Lord. Or I've got special insight, a mystery that you don't know. It's a secret and I will reveal it to you from the Lord. Let's heed the warning in scripture. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. And it's just like these same people today that say, you gotta come to me for the prophetic word. I hold the secrets and the scripture says, no, there is no private interpretation. We need to go with what's already been written. Scripture does matter doctrine matters. And just like I had that problem with those false Christians on the mission field who were saying we don't need the Bible, the Bible tells us otherwise. So we need to go with what the Lord has already said in his word and not with what people say or not with these self-proclaiming prophets today say. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, we have the Apostle Paul talking to younger pastor Timothy. So it's pastor to pastor, elder to younger person. And he was telling him, when you go to Ephesus, this church that he needed to fix, because the false had already crept into that young church, he was telling him in chapter three to, you know, go fix these things. These leaders have fallen asleep. He tells him to stay faithful to what he's already been taught and to the scriptures. And here's the advice he gives him. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. So remember, let's look at this. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And here's the reasons why we need to stick with it. For doctrine, know it is what you're teaching, knowing what you believe, and what you're teaching. For reproof and correction, we could use the scriptures to correct error. And it instructs us in righteousness. Yeah, so the body of Christ is equipped through the scriptures, not through these people coming in with other things, you know, their secret prophecies or whatever, or lost books, through the written word of God that's already there.